one of the, the biggest things happening in this faculty is our Center of Excellence for Carbon-Based Fuels. Um, reason being, we, this country makes use of a lot of coal um, in order to generate electricity. 90% uh, of our electricity comes from coal, as we've said. And um, in order for us to at least prolong the bit of coal that we have left, we are going to have to add a renewable form of energy into the mix. And the carbon-based fuels center of excellence allows for that because now it merges the, the coal guys with the biofuels people. And then because we're going to have to clean some water with this whole entire processing, um, we also have the water group in the carbon-based fuels, um, carbon fuels center of excellence. Okay, I'm in the coal field. Um, initially, my work was really just coal briquetting, so getting the correct formula to take powdered coal and make it a solid piece of coal. Um, but now I'm also adding the, the, the renewable sense into it, so I'm adding biochar into my coal briquette to ensure uh, some, some carbon neutrality or to, to, to reduce CO2 uh, um, emissions with utilization. First thing is that green coal is not green. <laughs> uh, we try to make it green with the additives that we add to the green coal. Um, the first thing I'd like to highlight is that we, because we are running out of coal, um, it's not it's not an infinite fuel source. It's really running out. Um, we are using we are now making use of fine coal, which is being stockpiled and thrown away over the years. Um, due to mine, and the, the, the powder is being pro, uh, produced due to mining processes. So that is being stockpiled. And we're trying to make use of that to prolong our, our coal reserves. And then we add a couple of things that bring the green factor into the whole story. And the first thing would be uh, a biochar, which is something we consider to be um, CO2 neutral because when you plant the tree, it takes up CO2, and then when you burn the tree, it burns the very, oh, it releases the very same CO2. Um, so the green factor comes in the fact that, in the sense that we are now producing less CO2. And the, the, the green coal is also self-scrubbing, meaning it can, it can encapsulate sulfur during use, so uh, less CO2 into the environment. In terms of briquetting, we are one of the very few universities that do that. And in terms of making use of, of another carbon or, or CO2 neutral source, um, like we are using biochar, there's another university that, that does work in a similar line. Um, but in terms of sulfur encapsulation, we are definitely ahead of the, uh, ahead of the team here. Um, we, we have a patent. Um, and it not only covers South Africa, but some European countries as well.